Hi, welcome to the Bi-Weekly Show. I am Kyle Schickner. Um, last couple of weeks has sort of been uh, coming down hard on uh, Glad and uh, Dan Savage and, and, and gay lesbian who uh, don't speak out when um, someone in their community sort of is anti-bisexual or transgender or, or, or lesbian anti-gay. They don't speak out within their own communities. Um, and part of what, you know, part of, believe it or not, what this, um, what this vlog is, is trying to do is sort of make, build bridges. And um, so it seems like I'm exploding a lot of bridges, but I'm really just sort of trying to sort of lay out a lot of uh, sort of our our gripes, our situation, where we, where, where we're feeling uh, hurt and, and, um, and slighted as to why, uh, there seems to be some mistrust and animosity towards all the alphabet letters in the, in the, uh, in the LGBT thing. Um, <coughs> what I, uh, what I want to talk about today briefly, um, is actually the other side of the bridge, the, the bisexual side that, um, tends to, you know, there are two sides to each story. And I, and I think one of the issues I, I have perceived um, in our community in, in, in going to uh, conventions and, and conferences and, and is, is we as a community have this kind of arrogant uh, way about us as if, you know, as if we are higher up on the evolutionary uh, sexuality uh, chart, like um, being gay or lesbian or being straight is being being sort of monosexual is so uh you know cro magnum and it, it and i think that's very off-putting we have this feeling of like you know this is the everyone is bisexual we may not say it out loud but there's this feeling that everyone's bisexual and i acknowledge i'm bisexual so therefore i must be a little further along emotionally um than my poor folks who are gay or lesbian or straight, and they, they don't quite get, they're not as open to the, to the truth that we are bisexual. Um, and I think, I think that pisses a lot of people off. Uh, I think it's like a kind of a, you know, it's sort of like a screw you, like don't minimize who I am. And, and we don't, and it's done in such a passive aggressive way. It's such a, in such a, we, we never say we are often, we don't say it, you know, we don't say it out loud in, in public. We have little meetings where we say it. And we, you know, we, we have T-shirts that say "We're better than you." No, we don't really do that. I think I may be, be clear. There's some, there's some, there's some, some old lesbian in, in Florida right now. I think we all know her name. Saying, "See, I knew it. They hate me." Um, I lost my track of thought. Uh, so, so we don't sit there and, and say, "Oh, we're so much better." But I think there's this feeling that this is how we are, um, and that bleeds into our our. Our hang, our sort of, our, our hanging out with um, the gay lesbian community and also the straight community, and um, we need to sort of address that. We need to sort of look at that. Do I, does Kyle Schickner think that everyone is bisexual? And in fact, if everyone sort of opened their mind and you know, as Funkadelic said, if free their mind, their ass would follow. Um, is that really the case? Are we all bisexual? And our our um, our upbringing. Uh, forces us to pick one or the other. Um, do I believe that? Maybe, maybe not. The point is, I have I have a very, very strong opinion about that. But see, it doesn't matter what I think. It ha makes no difference to what, what I think. And what, what I think is sort of what we as a bi, bi community to work on is that um, we look at people that don't accept us and we get so angry, rightly so, and, and bent out of shape and, and feel hurt and slighted. And but what we're kind of doing a lot is sort of the same thing, is that someone will come in and they'll identify as gay or lesbian. Or, and even in our head, if we feel that everyone is bisexual, we're judging them. We're saying they're not being honest. They're not being true to themselves. Um, and so kind of the thing that we often say well, when we hear from gay lesbians, when are you really going to come out? That's part of what we think. And that, even if we don't try to, it comes out. Someone comes to me and tells me they're gay, tells me they're lesbian. That day, that's who they identify as, that's what they say they are, that's what we have to take them as. It doesn't matter if six months down the line they're going to be with a woman, it doesn't matter if they're a god gay man is actually, you know, is sleeping with a woman. If they identify as gay, that's how they identify. We can't have it both ways. We can't sit there and say, well, you have to accept us, we're bisexual, and you can't put us in a box, but at the same time then say, well, wait a minute, you know, it's a shame that you think you're gay, even though you're doing some bisexual behavior. 
I don't have the right, we don't have the right to tell anyone how to identify. That being said, if there is somebody who is gay or lesbian or straight, but let's stick with the gay lesbian stuff because I think the straight folk are sort of, you know, it's a whole nother topic. Gay and lesbian, and they are anti-bisexual. They're biphobic. They don't accept bisexuals. They do all the things that we, that these last six blogs I've done, I've, I've complained about and said about. If they are that way, and then you, however, know that they are, in fact, bisexual or are in a relationship or have, you know, that becomes a different story because then they're being, then they're, they're, they're being, um, they are knowingly, doing something that they're saying they hate in order to gain status, um, uh, be further up in the, in the gay lesbian community, and then it becomes a different situation. Then I think we have the right to say, hey, you know, screw you. I know that, you know, you, you know, you, you've had sex with women or you've done this and, and that's your business. But once you start telling me I can't be bisexual, I can't um, have that identity, then they're, then they're fair game. And then we can have a problem. But those that don't do that, those that sort of come in and say, look, I'm gay, I'm bi, whether, they, whether we know anything or not, if they're open and they're accepting of us, we have to try to find ways to take that out of our, of that, that judgment out of our head. And I'm, 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 I'm very much a, uh, a, a victim of doing that, or a culprit, not a victim, of sort of doing that, of sort of um, wanting people to be as open and honest about who they are at all times. I am an honest, open person. I wear, I put my life obviously out on, on, on camera and out on the world and, and, and that bugs people in my world, but that's the way of, and then, but there is a part of me that expects that. Most folks in the bisexual community and the bisexual movement are of the same way. They sort of are, are putting themselves out there, putting their, sticking their necks on the line saying, I'm not gay, I'm not lesbian, I am bisexual. And that, by doing that, you sort of have to really lay a lot of your personal life out on the, on the, on the line. Um, but that's not our job. We, we can't worry about other people. I, I, you know, everyone isn't at the same spot. If there were 6 million Kyle Schickners out there, the world would be a very, very, <laughs> would be fraught with a lot of conflict. And, 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 and I wouldn't like that either because then I wouldn't be, you know, the only asshole bisexual who, who says stuff, um, that, that, that pisses people off. Um, but so we need to start building that bridge towards the other side as well, because we need to start acknowledging that, you know what, we're not any better. Um, we can't sit there and say, we're better than you, and at the same time saying, you can't say you're better than us. And I know we don't say that openly, but that is the vibe we give out a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot. And we're also, as a people, as a community, very sort of liberal and PC, so, you know, we have a thousand causes, and so we look at, if we don't, you know, if, if we're upset about the, you know, the, 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 the Micronesian women who are, you know, aren't allowed to get library books, and we post that, we feel very judgmental about people who are just interested in, let's say, gay men's uh, advancement or lesbian, the lesbian culture. We have to, you know, we're so quick to say, oh, the, les the bisexual community is so varied and so, so uh, um, diverse, but we don't put that forth. So we need to both embrace the diversity in our community, actually, not just saying it, um, and also look at the other, the L and the G, not so much the T, I'll probably talk about more of that next week, uh, the transgender community and the relationship with us, uh, but the L and the G and sort of not also think we are better than them and or we are more evolved or culturally superior or politically superior. Um, if someone, the bottom line is this, if that person isn't actively trying to keep me down or keep bisexuals down or out of the conversation, if they're not actively doing it, they need to be accepted. They don't need to feel our own crap about our insecurity about being on the low totem pole in the LGBT world, and therefore then having to say, oh, we are so much better than you. Um, yeah, that's it. Uh, probably not that controversial. Um, I'm sure I'm going to piss some people off because we're not supposed to talk about our community in negative ways out loud, and I think that's bullshit. Um, 
uh, week. Still haven't heard from Mark Burnett about Survivor. I'm getting a little frustrated about this. Um, luckily, the show is still doing very well, so we've got a few more years. However, when I first started watching the show, I was I would have been in the young group. I'm old now. It's been 10 years. Now I've got to go to the old group. I don't want to be the old group. Not because I have a problem with ageism. It's because I need to. I'm not going to be able to handle it for 36 to 39 days. Uh, as it is, you know, I put my socks on today. I got winded. So, uh, Mark Burnett, I'm here. I'm still waiting. I've got my bags packed. I got my my luxury item, and I am ready to be the first bisexual man in Survivor. So give me a call.